Hey all, Andrea here for the simplified process of living a healthy life. And today I'm going to help you understand the difference between all natural and organic foods. By the end of this video, you'll know what they are, why these distinctions matter, and how to choose the best foods for your health. For the best nutrition and natural advice, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. If you're confused about the terms listed on your food labels and want to make sure you're choosing the best ingredients, watch this video to make sense of these terms. I've helped countless clients navigate the confusing food labels to make more informed decisions about the foods they're consuming, and now it's your turn. I'm Andrew McDonald, and I'm a certified nutrition coach helping you understand the science behind how to eat to heal your body. Today, I'm going to define the terms you'll commonly see on food labels so that you understand what they truly mean and if they're good for you. So we're going to cover things like the term natural and the term organic. Comment below if you have found these terms to be confusing and very misleading. And lastly, we're going to discuss the further navigating of the various types of organic labeling and what they each mean. So what is the definition of all natural, as you'll see on food labels? Legally, natural doesn't have a strict definition. Generally, the FDA restricts foods from being listed as natural if they contain artificial colors, artificial flavors, or anything synthetic. But a food can still be called natural even if it contains hormones or genetically modified organisms, highly processed sweeteners, or preservatives. Next up, what does the term organic mean? Organic, on the other hand, does have legal guidelines. It must be grown without the use of conventional pesticides, synthetic fertilizers, sewage sludge, or bioengineering or ionizing radiation. To add a little more confusion, the term organic can be used in multiple ways on food labels. If you see the term organic, all by itself, no other tag words with it. What that means is at least 95% of the ingredients in that food must fall under the category of organic, meaning they meet the legal definition of organic. If you see the terms made with organic ingredients, that however only means that 70% of the food ingredients must comply with the organic labeling requirements. And if you see 100% organic listed on the label, that means all of the ingredients in that food must be certified organic in order to use that label. Any processing aids must also be organic, and the label has to state the name of the certifying agent. Most produce and unprocessed meat products can be labeled 100% organic because they don't contain any other ingredients. They are just the one ingredient, such as apple or beef. So now you know how to interpret these confusing terms found on food labels. To stay up to date with the latest in nutrition science, tips, techniques, and recipes, join my free Facebook community, Putting the Heal in Healthy. Click the link below to join. So how do you feel about reading food labels now? Comment below, I get this, if it made sense to you and if you found this helpful. If you have a question or if I left something out, comment below and I will take care of you. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe, share it with your friends, and hit the like button so that I will know to make more videos just like this. See you on the next one!